Hi there, my name is Jay and I'm with a company called CompuMatter and we also build a server called ServerMatter. And we work a lot with Linux. Uh, on a personal note, I have a mother who's losing her eyesight. And, uh, and so it was incumbent upon me to find a way to allow her to continue using her computer. Now, one of the features that comes out of the box with Ubuntu 22.04 is the zoom magnification feature and that's not what this video is about I will touch on it the real reason for this video are the icon that you, is the icons that you see above me let's see if I get my finger on that these oversized colorful icons because that does not come out of the box and you can't control it using any settings in any theme that I know of and I've tried a zillion of them uh, but I want to touch on the zoom feature first you notice as I move around the screen um, it is isolating where the cursor is, following it, and allowing me to select on those items, as opposed to um, seeing just the entire monitor. With mom, she's completely, she's, I mean, she's probably just down to 15%, uh, 20% of her, of her uh, vision. The way that we are controlling that feature is in is something called accessibilities. Uh, and you'll notice when I type in ACC, we see it right here, accessibilities. Um, and or accessibility, not plural. And right here, this zoom feature is what I've got turned on. If I turn that on, you see I can change the magnification. Right now it's on one and a half. Let me minimize myself, excuse me. Okay, so right now it's on one and a half. I'm going to change that. You see uh, it gets quite a bit bigger. I didn't even realize it went that big. And now, same thing applies. Follow the mouse anywhere on the screen. I'm getting to the top left corner of a monitor, to the bottom left corner of the monitor, and all the way around that monitor. Um, but I can do so uh, using, if, if my vision were poor, it allows me to see everything on the screen, kind of like Braille, you know, if you will, without the bumps. It, it, you, you, you move, you feel your way around, so to speak, and see the whole screen, you just don't get to take it all in at once. I suppose that's not like Braille, but it, it kind of allows you to kind of feel your way around in a similar fashion. So we're going to reduce that because I think, uh, I don't think mom is quite to that level yet. We're going to put her at one and a half, but as time goes on, uh, she will be. So I'm going to close the zoom since that's not the, uh, the main purpose for this, but I think it'll help a lot of people to, to know this. Now, how did I get these button sizes so big? There is literally no place in default Ubuntu to make them big or to color them. I haven't found a theme that I can control the size of these at, I mean, to the, whatever size I want them to be and whatever size, whatever color I want them to be. Um, and I don't want to use themes that are hacks or, or you know, off the norm, then I do an upgrade of some kind and it breaks. I need something more controllable. So let me show you what I've got here. We'll open a terminal. Okay, I'm going to CD home to her user in this case. There is a config, a uh, dot config hidden directory and there is something called GTK 3.0. This is for Ubuntu 22.04. That's what it's using to style all the windows and all that kind of stuff. There is a folder, just so you know, uh, I think it's user share themes. And somewhere in here, um, there are you going to find GTK related stuff. It might be inside the theme Yaru or whatever. But anyway, by putting it in their local folder, you're overriding things that are set elsewhere in the system. Uh, so let's go ahead and take a look at this GTK CSS. All right, and that's it. That's all I have in there. These are my CSS settings. Uh, the header bar, I've padded the right to get it off the far right wall. I wanted those icons to be shifted over a little bit so that she's not operating on the far edge. Uh, the title bar, uh, excuse me, the title button. That's all the buttons on the title bar. I've given them a minimum width. I've given them some padding. Uh, I've made their color white. 
And, uh, and then anyway, this was a big one, and it took a lot of extra discovery. I will say I found that on this Reddit page only within the last hour. Um, this person hit it right on the money, and you can apply that to any particular image. For instance, uh, this one over here, I just or you can apply it to all images by leaving it uh, empty, as you see here. Uh, the title button close, background red, minimize green, uh, title button, uh, maximize green, minimize, I have as none, and um, and I'm going to mess with the opacity and some of those things and see if I can eliminate that completely. But this gives you everything you need. Now, once you save that, you can come back over to the desktop, and my experience has been you don't need to log out, you just need to close Terminal works predictably every time. If you close terminal and then you open it again, you're going to get the icons that you want. I'm going to give you a demo of that. I am going to come over here into the background of the close button that was red. Uh, we're going to make it our no, we'll make it uh, purple. There we go. Something that stands out a little bit more. Okay, I'm just going to save that. We're not logging out. It's currently red close that, open up the terminal again, and Bob's your uncle. I don't know if you ever heard that saying or not. It's a New England thing. Anyway, that's all there is to it. The same thing with the padding and the other stuff. So anyway, um, I hope that this video helps you with your clients, with your family, in, uh, in making them feel like they're plugged into the world uh, in the same way that you and I are and can, can understand what's going on and, and to feel uh, a part of humanity as this uh, keeps that window to the world open uh, just a little bit longer. Thanks very much for watching. Bye-bye.